All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what happened was, is a few years ago, I had built this very similar TV antenna. Now, I've been using it for years. It works wonderful. But the problem was, is I had received a lot of feedback that the video was terrible. The video, they said your video is, they said it was, and believe me, they meant it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you the quickest way possible to make an indoor HD TV antenna so you can get all your local broadcast channels without spending tons of this. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to show you how to do it with a bunch of parts that you already have laying around your house or your garage with scrap items that you are going to throw away, toss out, or get rid of. And furthermore, they can be reused. They can be reused right now to save you some money, and I'm going to save you some time to save you that money. So let's go do this. Let's get watching TV. Without further ado, let's jump into it. First, you're going to want to locate an old Category 6 cable end. You only need a short piece of wire and the end for this project. The next items we'll need in this project are a pair of heavy-duty scissors and a pair of pliers. Number three, you will need a tape measure. And a pen. Some black electrical tape. Number six, a piece of sandpaper. Number seven, a piece of aluminum flashing, a license plate, or a no trespassing sign. And finally, number eight, you're going to need two pieces of wire 18 feet long. Now, for what we have here, this is a quick way to braid the wires together. We're going to take and strip both ends, and then we're just going to twist them so we have two wires already started. We're going to slide the two wires in the pair of pliers, and the idea behind this is, is, is we'll take and we'll stick the pliers in the hole here, so when we pull both of the wires to braid them together, we can actually put some weight on it and make the wire braid tight. You can see the roll sitting in front of you there, how tight I got it. It's very easy to do. This will only take you a couple minutes. Just braid and braid until your length of wires are complete. All right, grab your roll of wire and grab your tape measure. We're gonna measure this wire off to the 18 feet length. We're gonna measure it in three foot increments. So we're gonna pull our tape measure out to the three foot line and we're gonna mark it. Once you've marked your three foot mark, you're gonna to wanna to take and bend your wire in half. Now, this has given you your three foot length measurement. You're gonna take and gently slide your fingers down the wire until you reach the original end, where then you'll make another small bend in the next piece of wire there, giving it a three foot mark. You'll do this over and over again for the entire 18 feet, giving you an even three foot lengths for the entire distance. As you can see, I've already stripped my category six cable. Um, I have my ground from the electron cable separated from each other. Typically you would just strip the outer black coating away and then you would wind together the, the ground cable, the loose frayed cable, and then that will expose the inner shielded, it's like a white plastic type cable. So you'll strip that shield away and that'll give you the center pin. Then you're just gonna take that braided cable and just twist it as tight as you can. So it'll make a good solid connection when you do attach your wires. Now, once this is all braided, um, we're gonna be ready to go. Next, you're gonna get a piece of aluminum it needs to be thin we have a no trespassing sign this is cool because it's already got the holes cut for your wires in the corners uh, again it just needs to be a thin piece of aluminum a piece of flashing just thin super thin thin as you can get it clean aluminum now we're going to take our piece of aluminum flashing that's about one foot in total length and give a slice down in the corner this slice is where we're going to attach our initial wire um, you can take it, bend it back. I'll show you. It's about inch, just an inch and a half long or so. There's no rhyme or reason for the measurement of the slice. It's just enough to actually get the wire attached to it. We're going to take our sandpaper and we're going to clean both sides of this aluminum really well. Plus, it's going to make some contact points for the electrons. 
Now I'm going to take my titanium scissors and strip both of the ends of these wires. Now if you notice, I'm stripping them back a, a few inches each. Again, there's no rhyme or reason for this, and there's no rhyme or reason for which color wire is going to go to where on the plate. Electricity, the electrons, they don't know the color of wire. It's only for our identification purposes, so we can identify which end of the wire that we're going to contact to each end. It's just strictly for identification purposes. So we got our wires both stripped down, uh, and we're going to attach them to the aluminum plate. You know, we already made our slice. Um, I think we're going to use the yellow wire right here. Let's take in. We're going to wrap it around, bend it in, and hold it tight. This will also create like a good tension point so we can actually wrap our plate with our coiled wire. We're just going to continue to twist this yellow lead around the aluminum flashing until it's really tight. Um, actually, I think I'm going to grab the pliers. We're going to crimp it even tighter to the aluminum, and then we'll boom bend the aluminum tab in to kind of hold everything nice and tight in place. And that gives us our good contact point right there. Now we're gonna take and guide our red signal wire straight up and out. And we're gonna to begin to wrap our cable just around and around the aluminum flashing until we reach the other end. Now we totally, we're gonna to wanna to make about 13, to 15 turns around this and you never want the two wires to touch each other when you're done so I'm, I'm putting them a little too close together here but I'm just trying to get it started and tight and then we'll space them out as we go but you also want to be careful when you make the bends at the top that you don't slice into the coating because if you do slice the coating the two wires run the chance of shorting themselves out to the aluminum plate and it'll never work as an antenna so again, we're gonna hold the wires in place and we're gonna wrap and wrap for probably about 13 to 15 turns. Now, what we're going to do is we're taking some saran wrap basically and we're gonna wrap our wires in our plate in plastic. We wanna cover the plate completely because as the electrons come through the air and attach themselves to the aluminum, we want to keep them attached to that aluminum and guide them down the wire. So if you don't coat it, what will happen sometimes is the electrons will come and they'll hit the plate, but they'll bounce around all erratic and never send the signal down the wire. So we are going to coat the plate to trap the electrons, and with everything nice coated and tight, it'll send the signal down the wire. You're going to take your category 6 cable and the opposite ends of your red and yellow cable and you're going to twist them together. You're going to connect your red to your grounding cable line, not allowing it to touch the center pin whatsoever and then you're going to secure it with tape. Uh, we're going to use a black electrical tape and we're going to completely tape this away from the center yellow line. Now that we've secured our red cable, we're going to take the yellow cable and we're going to tightly secure it to the center of the Category 6 cable. We're going to take it, wrap it around, twist it tightly, and crimp it down. After it's tight, we'll take and wrap black electrical tape around its connection, completely separating it from the other wire. We'll tape them then together just to kind of make a clean, tight connection. Um, for the end of the wire and that's it locate the coax connector on the back of your tv and tightly screw down your category 6 cable connector here's a couple quick examples ladies and gentlemen there it is one quickly completed indoor hd tv antenna made out of the scraps from your garage your home your office now again I took some of the turns out of this before I wrapped it up and sealed it in my plastic. You want about 13 turns around the aluminum plate. Um, and after that, after you've wrapped it in your saran wrap, you can take clear packing tape and trim all the edges out and then just run layers over the center and the back. It'll make it a tight, secure plastic coating, you know, much better than the saran wrap, just so it doesn't tear as easy. And if not anything, it'll also help give you a better signal. It'll protect those electrons, keep them in, guide them down the wires, and so on. So ladies and gentlemen, 
thank you all for watching. You know, please smash that like button. You know, hit explode it for the YouTube algorithms. And please click the subscribe button to come back for some more. We got some more crazy projects. We're going to make some different types of antennas out of some different things. We're going to try something outside of the box that's never been used before. We got some cool, crazy ideas coming up here in the future. Some newscasts, some Hobie Watson, maybe some Slick Richie, some other stuff. But I hope you find some use out of this. And we got some other tutorials coming up too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 2020. It was the year of the vision. And again, I'll say it was blinded by all kinds of craziness. This is the year to remember, isn't it? So for that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you know I love you all today, tomorrow, and forever. Peace. from your home, garage, or office, mother